sort of soft smoking comments? Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think the story of the day was pretty obvious. Um, when you get in the red zone, you got to find a way to score touchdowns. I also thought uh, uh, our inability to run the football really hurt us at times, uh, but uh, give give Auburn a lot of credit. Um, they're they're really really good on defense. I felt like our defense played well in the first half and kept us in it. And and again, I think the story of the uh, of the game was red zone to me. And uh, we got to find a way to get it in. You know, it does get tough against a good defense, but we got to find a way. That's our job as coaches to find ways to get it, get it in the end zone. Um, thought our players played hard. Defense played hard. A uh, little bit um, depleted, but uh, proud of the way that they fought and gave us an opportunity to win this football game. I raise your hand if you have a question. Matt, what made their front seven so difficult to block? You know, I, I think, uh, I mean, they're, they're just they're good players. They're big and, and fast. And, uh, you know, I just I thought they did, they did a nice job. We did a good job of moving the football. And um, we didn't have the points to show for it. You can't kick field goals and, you know, have blocked field goals, not get it on fourth and one. Um, again, I, I just think um, just being able to, to win your one-on-ones uh, down in the red zone, again, it does get a little bit tougher. We've got to find a way to do that. Kind of a repetitive question. You had those first four scoring opportunities. You had the three field goals and the one block. Was there a common thread on that? Was it getting beat up front, or was it not winning one-on-ones on the outside? Or you know, I, I, we're, I'm gonna go back and watch it, but I, I do think um, it's a little bit, a little bit of everything. I think uh, you know, again, credit Auburn, um, but uh, we, we had our opportunities. Whether we were missing a, a couple of uh, matchups, or we, we missed a block, or they got that. I think they had a zero pressure one time, so they had one unaccounted for. We got to get rid of the ball. Uh, I think it was all of the above, but uh, but again, when you're playing against a, uh, a really, really good defense and you have all those opportunities, you have to take advantage of it. What do you think changed with your defense from the first half into the second half? You know, I, I just think um, I think that they kept battling and battling, they kept pounding away. I, I think the, the dam just finally broke. And um, again, they, they did battle back in the fourth quarter, but. The, the, the three scoring drives right back to back to back. There's there's too many explosive plays. We we, we can't allow that to happen. And uh, but uh, but again, I thought they they kept us in the game long enough. We weren't able to score enough points to win. Questions down in the red zone. How much did you miss DK in this game? And then also throughout the game, not having him. Well, I mean, I think um, you always wish that. Uh, you had you had DK, but uh, you know, he wasn't available for this game. And Braylon Braylon looked prepared, and you know he played hard. And again, we got uh, we have some other weapons, and we got to find ways to utilize those guys and get it in. Has Metcalf had surgery yet? No. Any questions up top? Right up here, um, false starts and seemed like mostly on third downs. What do you attribute those to? Yeah, so I uh, saw. I think we had two on the offensive line. One was a, uh, a late call from the center uh, to change the protection, and I, I don't. I think the other one was just. You know, I mean, again, we you can't have any false starts. But uh, you know, when it happens, one of those you know put us out of field goal range. We'll take one more up top. Hey, coach. Yeah, uh, Jordan did a good job last uh, last game in Arkansas running as a runner, and he ran 14 times. Was that part of the game plan, or was that just you know because of uh, uh, the way the pressure was set up? Uh, no, I think um, again, uh, you know, part of the quarterback draw is that, you know with our um, built into some of our route concepts and RPO game has been a good play for, especially on third down. And it was again today. Um, we just got to continue to. Uh, to build on it, uh, but no, that, that was a good play for us, an efficient play for us today. Or right, we'll come back down to the bottom. Matt, the way you guys have been starting this year and, and the way you've been playing better in the second half, I'm assuming that down 10 to six and a half, you felt pretty good. Well, I, I was, um, again, uh, disappointed that uh, I felt like we should have had more. Uh, but uh, but definitely knew that we're in it in a four quarter game and our crowd was great and they showed up and they really affected uh, all on some of those third downs and you know fourth down stop and so but our, our crowd was great and I want to thank thank everybody for showing up today because it was a, 
a really, really good atmosphere. But yeah, just disappointed in the third quarter. They come down and, and score, and then we go down and have to kick a field goal. And uh, again, that was, again, I think red zone was the story of the day. Matt, what are y'all's priorities going into this, this opening? Well, I think uh, it's a great time to, to look at everything, uh, overview, self-scout, uh, look at some things. Obviously, you want to look at some things in the red zone. How are we going to fix that? How are we going to get better? Uh, and then you also take the opportunity to try to use the extra week to get healthy um, and try to get some of these guys back off dream. Uh, C.J. Miller, try to get some guys back that can come back and help us and then, um, and then try to get a jump start on South Carolina. How did you come out injury-wise in this game? And uh, Raylan Sanders back covering punts, was that new? Uh, yeah, well, he, he just uh, he done, he did a really nice job against Arkansas making some tough catches, and so we just feel really comfortable with him back there uh, making, making the tough catch. But uh, as far as injuries, I didn't see any major injuries. A couple guys hobbled on and off, and I'll, uh, I'll know more you know, when I meet with the trainer. Any more questions? All right, thank you, Coach.